Hey, hey, hey everyone, and welcome back to another video here at Destination Gaming, where today we are going to be looking at 10 blocks and items hidden inside Minecraft Pocket Edition 1.0. They're secret blocks hidden in the game's files that you can only get through inventory editors, but these blocks are only available using the block IDs that I'll show on the side of the screen as I show each block or item that I'm going to show in this video. Now real quickly, before we begin the video, let me just ask you guys to smash that like button down below and let me know you want to see a sequel to this video because the blocks I'm going to be showing you guys today are just 10 of many hidden blocks and items inside Minecraft Pocket Edition 1.0. Also, before we get started, you're probably wondering why the gameplay is shifted all the way to the left side of the video. Now, I did the video this way so that I can display the block and item IDs on the side Sidebar next to the gameplay. That way you guys have the ability to give yourselves these blocks through inventory editors after the video is over. So you guys will need those block IDs in order to get these hidden blocks and items inside the game. So you guys, that's also why I didn't put a face cam in this video because I wanted to display the item IDs along the side of the video and honestly thought this video would just plain look better without my face cam. So you guys, I think that covers pretty much everything I wanted to explain, so let's get into the video. So real quickly you guys, just before we begin the video, I just want to let you know that I always keep a diamond sword and flint and steel in my inventory just in case something unexpected happens when I do these videos. Alright you guys, so we are standing in this tiny little building that I've built here and we're going to be going through all 10 hidden blocks and items that I'm going to be covering in this video inside Minecraft Pocket Edition. So to start. The first block I'm going to be showing you guys is the end portal block. Now in your inventory it looks like the update block which is well known inside Minecraft Pocket Edition. It's a texture that they use for a lot of block IDs that haven't yet been added to the game. But because this one is just missing the texture for the inventory and it's obviously not supposed to be found, that's just the way that it looks. So as we place this block here, you guys can see that there's nothing there. There's only a few particles being emitted from the top. But as we jump and look down, we see that this is actually a piece of what would be the middle of an end portal. So if you guys wanted to put these blocks in a build that allows you to go to the end without building the ugly portal, that's pretty much what they're for. And you guys, I've just put the block ID for this block up on the right hand side of the video. So as you guys go to find these blocks later, just use those codes in the inventory editors and that will get you these secret blocks inside Minecraft Pocket Edition. Now moving on, the next block we have is the piston arm, which as of right now you can't actually place, but it looks cool in the inventory. And essentially what this block is, even though it's not coded in to be placed, it's the head or arm of the pistons. So the part that would come out of the main rock base of the piston is actually its own block with its own block ID. So you can put these blocks in your inventories, they just can't be placed as you see right now. Although the numbers of blocks in my inventory are going down as you can see below, which is kind of strange. I haven't noticed that before, but let's go ahead and move on to the next block. Now you guys, the next hidden block is the nether reactor core, which can be placed and looks a lot different than this block did a long time ago when this was actually used in Minecraft Pocket Edition to go to what was kind of a makeshift nether at the time. You guys can find more videos on that around YouTube on how you used to be able to go to a different nether than what's on normal Minecraft. And you had to build this contraption using the nether reactor core in order to get into essentially an alternate nether before the real nether was added to Minecraft Pocket Edition. So moving on to the next block, we have a variation of a button. Now in your inventory, it looks like a normal wood plank, but this is actually a button when placed and it works just like a normal button would which is pretty cool. It looks different in your inventory. It's not quite as hidden as some of the other blocks that I'm showing you, but I still thought it was worth showing you guys just because it's interesting in your inventory. Now moving on to the next block, this block is called redstone dust, and essentially it's the same as the normal redstone that you would place in order to make different contraptions inside Minecraft, but it does go by an alternate item name, and as you can see in your inventory, it has a completely different texture than normal redstone wood. So that is the fifth item in the showcase. Now let's go on to the sixth, which is tripwire. Again, similar to the redstone back here, 
but it's still different because it has a different texture in your inventory. So these are blocks that I just thought were worth showing you guys, but please stick around because these aren't nearly the most exciting blocks I'm going to be showing you guys today. Now moving on to the next block, this is one of the more boring blocks I'm going to be showing you guys today as I go into my inventory here and get it. It's a normal old enchanted book, but what's different about this enchanted book is it has no specific enchantment. It's just a general enchanted book, which is a hidden item because you can't get it in the normal game. So if you enchanted a book in the normal game, it would have a specific type of enchantment and would not be called a normal enchanted book. So again, you guys, that's probably the worst block I'm going to be showing you guys today, but I still thought it was worth showing. Now moving on to the really cool final three blocks. All right, you guys, so I think I'm going to head outside to show you guys the last three items, which are all secret spawn eggs within Minecraft Pocket Edition 1.0, and they can get a little bit dangerous, which is why I'm heading outside, so I'll see you guys there in a second. All right, you guys, I am now standing outside with the final three items, and I've gone ahead and cleared my inventory and done some stuff, so you'll probably notice that the inventory has changed now that I'm standing outside, but let's go ahead and show the final three items. All right, you guys, so the first of the last three items is called an Ender Charge, and essentially what it is is it's the Ender Dragon's projectile. So now as we place this, you can see it's the huge purple ball that the Ender Dragon would fire at you in the end. So moving on to the next block, it is the End Crystal again in egg form so as we place this you'll notice that this end crystal does not have the standard bedrock base that a normal end crystal would have so these end crystals are a lot better for decorating houses and stuff in Minecraft but they do still explode so you'll want to keep them away from anybody that comes into your Minecraft world Alright you guys, now moving on to the final item of the video, which is by far my favorite. It's called the Shulker Projectile in an egg form. Now as we take this over here and we place it beneath us, it emits one of the Shulker Projectiles, which looks kind of like a little egg. As you know, when you go into the end and you meet up with a Shulker, they'll fire things at you and these occasionally do give you the levitation buff. The ones that I just placed didn't give me the buff, but I know that most do because I have already experimented with some of these before doing the video. So if you guys want that levitation buff, then feel free to use these eggs in the future. So you guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. Now, if you haven't already, please drop that like down below to let me know that you guys want to see a sequel to this video. And also be sure to subscribe to become a part of Destination Gaming. And I will see you guys in the next video.